Welcome to the National Institutes of Health Office of Intramural Training and Education's YouTube channel. My name is Phil Ryan and I'm the Director of Student Services for our Graduate Partnership Program. I want to thank you for checking out our resources for young scientists. In these videos, we have created five tutorials that provide some instruction and guidance to key aspects of entering a research setting as an early career scientist, whether that be as a summer intern, a post -back researcher, or entering graduate student. In Keeping a Laboratory Notebook, we cover the basic information about what a notebook is, including discussions of some of the different types of notebook used in a research environment. We discuss the structure and organization of a notebook, the key components of all notebooks should have, and look at some examples of some good notebooks. The tutorial on attending your first scientific meeting or conference will walk you through how to prepare ahead of time for the meeting and discuss a bit about the important role you play at the conference regardless of what level of scientist you are. We also cover some of the basic etiquette that will help you make the best impression possible and what you should do once the meeting is over. Reading a scientific article will help you master the difficult skill of going through the scientific literature and understanding the content of published scientific works. In the tutorial, you will learn about the different types of scientific papers that are out there and the basic structure of a scientific paper. You will gain a better understanding of why we read papers and how to decide on which papers you should read. Finally, you will learn some valuable tips on how to read these papers effectively. We created two tutorials dedicated to laboratory math. In the first, we review some basic math skills that are used in many research settings. This includes working with exponents and specifically working with powers of 10. The tutorials also cover the rules of scientific notation and an introduction to the metric system, including the nomenclature and how to convert units. In laboratory math two, we focus on the mathematics of making solutions commonly used in a research setting. In this tutorial, we discuss what a solution is and define concentration, including some of the common concentrations used. There are step-by-step -step examples of making simple and complex solutions with explanations of each step in the process. As dilutions are a powerful tool in working with solutions, we discuss what a dilution is and discuss the mathematics involved in using them, including how to use serial dilutions. As with making solutions from scratch, the tutorial contains step-by-step -step examples and practice problems involved in using dilutions. While we feel that most young scientists will benefit from watching these videos, their value is not limited to young scientists. We have heard from many people that they serve as a good reminder to more advanced researchers, as well as helping mentors prepare to teach these materials to their mentees and interns. Whatever your purpose in viewing these tutorials, we hope that they are useful to you in being successful in your scientific careers. PDF copies of these slides with a transcript, as well as many other resources, are available on our website at www.training.nih.gov.